Hey, this is Neil and I'm here with Icon Vehicle Dynamics and we're going to talk today about the Rebound Pro Interlock, which is just an amazing piece of engineering that provides a beadlock wheel without the beadlock ring, uh, which is DOT compliant nationwide. And I've got Scott Spiva here from Icon Vehicle Dynamics and it's really great what Icon has done to find actually the unicorn in the group to pull this out and create something new in engineering. Scott, take us through this and even to the point where when that tire goes on, what's different about this wheel and how is that, how is that holding that beat? Gotcha. Well, the, the wheel itself is the same as a regular wheel, really, uh, as far as the way she's, she's set up, except for the holes that are milled into it radially around the, uh, around the, the bead section here. Uh, like you mentioned, it's not a regular beadlock ring, so we don't have the bolts yep. on the face and there's no ring to go on. But um, once you mount the tire just against the inside of the bead face of the wheel, just like normal uh, for any other wheel on the market, uh, the pins behind it effectively lock it in position. So the upon install, you would have your pins threaded partially in so that they're flush with the, the, this uh, bead retention hump right here and uh, air up the tire, it'll seat, um, at which point you'll get you know, a little bit of leakage around the, uh, uh, the threads here because the O-rings aren't set uh, yet. But once uh, the, the bead is completely set around the wheel, you just run them in, uh, torque them to spec, uh, and then you would be able to imagine here with the bead in place, this is effectively a wall behind it and there's no way for that tire to de-bead. Um, and let you run really lower air pressure than you'd ever really want to uh, without fear of de-beating the tire. Yeah. And I've seen it down to three pounds. Uh, you guys have some amazing uh, videos. I know a customer of yours did, it just literally tried to take it out up in the Northwest, pulled it down to three pounds, and we're trying to de-bead that thing and, uh, and it couldn't be done. Yeah, yeah. and part of the, the DOT testing that we uh, put these through to, to sort of validate everything is, uh, I think they call it the FMVSS 139 test. It's, it's a big giant hydraulic ram that attempts to de-bead uh, the tire from okay. the wheel. And so first we threw a regular rebound without the interlock on there. Um, and uh, I for, can't quote the exact numbers right now, forgive me, but the uh, tire de-beaded it at X amount of force. Which and then, almost any tire would that doesn't have a beadlock technology. Exactly, yeah, okay. just like we would expect. Uh, nothing, nothing abnormal there. <laughs> so then the Rebound Pro at the same tire pressure with the same wheel with the interlock installed, uh, basically it was multi times over what the force uh, it took to de-bead the tire and yet it never came off the wheel. And it got so far in fact that the, the stroke of the ram was out that ran it full reached at full extension it could not push on it anymore and the tire had not debeated from the wheel and this was replicated over and over again and we have all the data up on our website on the rebound pro good you can see uh, the force but it's multiple uh, you know a magnitude over uh, the force wise and it stayed put so scott uh the technology has been out for a while but when was it uh, do you remember where it was presented to the consumer base yeah we uh, actually unveiled it to the world uh, on sema of 2021 uh, and uh, but it's been a project that we've had on various vehicles for years up to this point. Um, Any good R and D takes time. Exactly. Yeah, we've came up with all kinds of redneck testing in the parking lot, trying to you know proof of concept where we we made our own curb where we literally bolted stuff to uh, a big concrete block to the asphalt and then put the Raptor up against it with a homemade version of this and then literally drug it with a Jeep with the winch cable trying to drag that off and we end up breaking our little you know pseudo curb in the process so well made r d it's real fun. world that's that's what's going to happen exactly outstanding so there is a ton of information out there i know that all your engineering your specs your testing all your modules are up online check it all out on the website we on our youtube channel there's videos of, of a lot of this stuff you can see uh install uh, uh, maintenance and, and, and just talking more about them, all kinds of cool cutaways with CGI so you can really see what's uh, what's going on and it really helps you know explain to someone that's not familiar with it because it is brand new yep. um, you know that uh, it's uh, another alternative and um, you know in a lot of ways a better one for for a lot what a lot of guys are looking to do.
Perfect. And that, uh, that website is www.iconvehicledynamics. Uh, find more information, certainly about the Rebound Pro and all of the wheels that Icon makes. Uh, again, there's a phone number there. If you've got any questions, give us a call. Thanks again for watching.